Hey boys, welcome to episode 2, Witcher 3. For all you guys that are tuning in for the first time, I'm loving this game. I'm not much of an adventure RPG guy, but I figure I would give it a shot. And why not, right? You should always try things new. I take it right now here where I've been playing this game and loving it. And right now we're with Garrett and Vesemir as they're on their adventure to look for Yennefer, who's Garrett, the main character's long lost love. And if you watched last episode, Garrett, the main character, was... Uh, Gerald uh, was having a dream about Siri. I believe it could be his daughter, and but Yennefer was a long lost love, and he woke up to his dream. And right now they're on a quest to get his long lost love back. Hopefully you followed all that. But I love the fighting mechanic in this game so far. Like I said, I'm not really into like the turn-based RPG type games, but this game, the mixture of the hack and slash and dodging it and using your actual hand-eye coordination to fight makes it a lot of fun. Already I'm about three three hours or so into the game and I'm loving this uh, the fighting mechanism, the fighting mechanics. What do you guys think about the fighting mechanics so far? I hope you guys love it. So moving forward, um, how, how about this for a little bar fight? You end up entering this little village and the, the locals there don't like me very much so I have to use the fisticuffs to take him out. I didn't draw my sword here. I don't know if it lets you draw your sword but they were giving me lip service inside the, the tavern there. So I just kicked the crap out of them. And there's a guy there hiding behind the horses. The horses, I love how your horse is called Roach but he, they're freaking out over there but I take this guy out. And I love the how things are spontaneous in the game. I wasn't expecting while I was going through the dialogue. There is a lot of dialogue, but I like it. You can kick back, relax. Um, I wasn't expecting the fight. Now, moving forward, this is part of the Beast of the White Orchard quest. And you got to slay a griffin in order to get more information about your long-lost love. And right now here, the main character, Geralt... He's like the man tracker. You ever got you guys ever watch the man tracker? He acts like the man tracker in these little segments here by trying to piece together all the things that happened while he wasn't around, you know. So this griffin got slayed. And that's why I think the main male that's hovering around the village terrorizing everybody is pissed off because his his girl died this griffin. Is that right, boys? Let me know if you agree with that. Male must be about the same age. So he's going through certain evidence about this griffin, trying to figure out where the male could be. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. So I moved up to level two, and I wanted to show you guys this. So as you go up levels, you could you have available points and kind of like a tree diagram scheme where you could add to certain attributes. Now, before when I did this, they had like the crossbow attribute, but I didn't think I was going to get a crossbow till later on in the game. But kind of to spoil it, when you fight the Griffin, your buddy um, Vesemir gives you a crossbow to use during the battle. But what I worked on. I looked at it and I was kind of unsure. Let me know what you guys picked, if you guys are playing this game, what you picked as your available attribute that you picked. But I kind of went through all of them here and I went with uh, not the fast attack, but I went with the second one, which is a strong attack. Cause I feel like if I can kick ass and take names, they won't be able to defend, no can defend. But moving forward to the finale of this quest, to kill the griffin. There's that damn griffin. And you and your buddy Vesemir have to take out this big guy. And I feel like this is like kind of like the main part of what I achieved so far, which is this this battle. And it lets you know that you have to focus on using the crossbow, which I did. But for some reason, there was like a delay when you shoot because you push. I'm using the PC, so you push the middle button and then it pulls back and then when you let go it shoots and he still has to reload it after every shot so right now I'm going trigger happy <laughs> I'm going trigger happy with just a crossbow but once that beast lands whoa 
Once that bleat beast lands, you gotta go run at it and just start slaying. Look at that. That was like a golf swing right there. And you also have to monitor your your health. And it did say when I started this quest, it said it's recommended that you're a level three when you do it, but I just felt like I would do it at a level two. And look at me just going to work on this guy. I feel bad that you gotta kill him, but hey, I have a long lost love, which is Yennefer. And that's the girl in the first episode. She's beautiful, she's hot. She smells like lilacs and gooseberries, boys. And you gotta get her and you gotta save her. And that's what the whole that's the whole drive is in the beginning of this game so far, I believe. So I'm continuing continuing the action. Slaying mania. And I'm doing what I can. And then I'm just gonna fast forward here to the end. So I'll fast forward right here. And again, this was a just uh, unbelievable battle. So you continue going forward. And here we go, boys. All right, boys, so here we go. This is the ending part. And I am, I used like so many things, like as far as the, uh, you know, the, the health, the health points, like, you know, the food, the apples, and the bread that you have in your little inventory. And I used a lot of that to regenerate my power. But here we go, as I start using some of my Witcher tactics to trap them and get this griffin down. And you finally slay his dirty butt. Come on, come on, Geralt. There you go, big guy. And I take him out. And that was very satisfying. Tough, tough as nails this griffin. But the Beast of the White Orchard is updated. I don't feel like it's over. Not bad. <laughs> so what you have to do now is you have to now take that head back to the main town in order to get more information about Yennefer. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the griffin's head to the black ones. I'll ready our horses. So you take it to the black ones. So you take your head to the black ones so you can get in your reward and get more information about Yennefer. And uh, in the next episode, boys, I'll let you know what happens. I'm going to continue playing it. In the first episode, I was kind of doing, like, I was just playing and then talking. But I feel like the game's too long, so I feel like it's more important to just highlight what I've been doing. So I record kind of off camera and then take snippets of the most important parts of the game let me know if you like that let me know if you like this new series hopefully more people could tag along and enjoy this new game known as the witcher 3 take care boys this is hank gaming tv i'm hank and i'm out of here big daddy cool